Whatever you want. Okay. Don't laugh. I didn't laugh at you. Until <laughs> after the speech. listen to our parents growing up? Some of us are our parents already, right? Hopefully not too young. I hope. But we usually listen to them when they tell us their stories, their stories, about the things they've done as kids growing up. And you don't believe them. They'll sit there and tell you, you don't know what it's like. It's tough doing this. You don't know what it's like raising a kid. It's tough, you know? You gotta feed them, bathe them. And you don't believe them the entire time, right? Like, you know, ah, ah, college will be easy. Be simple. High school's nothing. I'm not gonna have any of that happen. I can have fun, no consequences. You know, Wadsworth said, by the time a man realizes maybe his father was right, he has a son who thinks he's wrong. Now, why, why, why is this true? Why do I think this is true? Because there's two ways to learn, in my opinion. There's uh, learning from what people tell you. You learn from other people's mistakes, right? Or uh, you have to make those mistakes on your own. And by the time you realize that, you know, parents are right with the stories they were telling you, it's too late. You've already made those mistakes. Now you're sitting there having to tell your kid the same thing ends up being an endless cycle unless he's able to learn from your mistakes. The stories you tell him or her, depending on whatever you have. <laughs> and depending on the child, you also have to tell him different things. Maybe if it's a girl, don't take that guy. <laughs> Nothing. See how I walked up that door? He texted me. <laughs> Not. Now this may seem like I'm just rambling, because I am, <laughs> but what is the point of all this rambling? Wish I knew. <laughs> but I'm making that time. I see him putting up those cards. I see him smiling in the back knowing that I'm getting an F. <laughs> because, like many of you, I did not learn from the mistakes I watched. <laughs> I got to make my own. <laughs> and you know, not enjoying it. <laughs> Sitting up here really just making words come out that don't have any sense. <laughs> so for the people that have speeches coming up, and try to motivate you to learn from what I'm doing <laughs> and make sure you have a damn good layout out there. <laughs> you don't want to be like me, <laughs> trying to kill it. <laughs> so good luck to all of you and uh, good job to all of you that went out and didn't do what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> We sure got on Facebook later. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. Well, Stephen, I don't know that I have to do much of an evaluation. You evaluated yourself the whole time you were speaking. I mean, it's, you picked out some of the things that are problematic. You don't really have a plan where you're going with the speech. Uh, so you, you start wandering around on the topic. Now, you, you lucked out because you rescued yourself to some degree. You found, I can take my experience that's happening right now, and I can use this to illustrate the point that I'm talking about. And so you saved yourself uh, quite a bit with that kind of thing. And then, of course, once you get some confidence going in that, then you can be a little bit more forceful about what you're saying and get into what you're talking about. But it took you a long time to get to that point, and I think that uh, you know that. You should have been in that spot from the very beginning. You could have used that example and, like I said, killed it for 90% of the speech instead of waiting for the last 20% where it all works out for you. So, you know, I, I think everybody appreciates the situation you went through. You, you, your mind goes blank. You're struggling to find something to say. You just start wandering. I'm going to keep yammering. You draw too much attention, though, to the fact that you're struggling. I, that's one way that people kind of cope with their anxiety is they say, well, let me run it up a flagpole, let everybody see it, let me point to it and say, hey, look at what's going on up there as a way of detracting from the fact that you are experiencing this yourself. It's kind of like you're having an out-of-body experience and you're sitting there with the rest of the audience watching what's happening. I think you want to try and, and, and be a little bit more forceful in controlling those things instead of just reacting to them. Uh, and, that, and like you, you know, if you have a plan that's going to be better off. I think you've got a good idea, finally, when you get to the body of the speech. I, think you, I thought you had a good idea about what the topic meant at the very beginning of the speech, but you don't really have any idea about how you're going to talk about it. And until you find that groove, we struggle watching you. Even when you find the groove, though, you do have a couple of things that you're doing that are problematic. The, the pacing thing, the, you've got nervous feet, you're just walking around uh, aimlessly, uh, you need to seem a lot more controlled there. Uh, you, you, I like the fact that you start at one point having a character voice when you're kind of ta thinking about how the, the voice of a parent when they're talking in that kind of uh, uh, voice, but you're not consistent on that. and, it, and Then you get dropouts a lot while you're speaking, so I think that's a little bit problematic. You, you know, when you're speaking, when your voice projects, you're good. Uh, when you look at the audience, I, I mean, you're pretty direct about that. Your anxiety is just coming out in ways that uh, allow you to kind of make fun of it and allow us to not feel quite as uncomfortable as we would be if you never found that uh, way of making a point out of what you were saying. Because if, uh, believe me, if you hadn't found that, everybody would be going, oh my God, no, this is so hard to watch, this is so tough. But, you know, like I said, you lucked out as you were going on. You don't, you don't want to count on your luck all the time. Yeah. And, and I, think, I think that you, you need to be a little bit more you know, in control of what's going on. All right. Thank you.